Yo, people, come back to the fix. It's boy and I here with Ari, and we're here at Undisclosed Location. A very nice undisclosed. <laughs> very nice <location>. undisclosed <laughs> location. Special guest here with us right now, though. Kai Butler. Bless up. Well, friend to the Bless show. Up. Friend to the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Bless up, man. First of all, before we get into anything, we have to say congrats on the newborn. Yeah, I mean, man, respect, respect. Congrats, congrats. Respect. You know I mean, how are you finding the father situation so far? Um, it's a blessing, you know. Mm. Um, Wait, isn't it fatherhood? Yeah. What is a situation yeah, like? It's something, something. Um, <laughs> fatherhood. No, fatherhood special. It's mm. like there's a love that I've never experienced in my life until my son was born. Mm. And it's a different type of love. Like I love my wife, mm. but it's a different type of love. Yeah. And you know, just spending time with him over these couple of weeks has been a life changing experience for me. Is he? Really. He's not a New Year baby, no. No, no, near near December 29th. Oh, okay, 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 29th. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, them always say it's like your heart outside walking. Is that exactly. is that the experience? Exactly, really? it's exactly like that. Um, it's as I said, I can't really explain to it. I mm. look just like me, so mm. you know, everything, all the emotions, all the protective um instincts, mm. all of them things are just a part of me now. I know we all know that you're related to like one of Jamaica's famous dads <laughs> at this point in time. We can say, like, so right, you know, like, no man, relate to him now and, yeah. and, and understand him actions. Wait, when you when you when you're so born, like, <laughs> yeah. you call him and say, Dad, I get it. We never call him, but <laughs> him, him was like, You understand now, say sorry. I was like, right. We know him again, <laughs> unsolicited advice. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, what's the best piece of advice he's giving you? Um, best piece of advice you want to tell me say, in a life is that no matter how much time they knock you down, you get up back and you fight. You don't just give up and mm. crawl in your shell. So, True. Um, no, but just even just the father situation. Like as what's, a father. Yeah, what's the best advice he you said to me? Because for Christmas, you know, he bought me a Christmas gift of a stern arm. Oh. And he was saying that I should be firm with my son and make sure that him, you know, be disciplined and grow right and things. So mm-hmm. same thing, the same treatment in gear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so what other you know, of course we know say yeah, get some things, you know, from your father, but what other things you want to in in impart to your son? Um, I want my son to be grown all around it, being able to adapt in any situation in life. So mm. wherever room he's going to, him, don't feel intimidated. I want him to be educated, um, athletic, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's about that. And, and yeah, I'm going to make him learn an instrument as well. Yeah. <laughs> So, Why are you forcing? <laughs> you can probably go with two left foot and two on this, and you're like you're forcing him into something. <laughs> well, I guess you just. Want I have it. a step brother. Yeah. And when he he wasn't interested in football at all, yeah. and him just win money cup. Wow. So <laughs> it works. So, so wow. Just never interested. The family, right? yeah. <laughs> and the family. Right? <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah. So, That's hilarious. You know what I mean? So speaking of you know. Fighting for, I believe in, and you know, not really back into your shell. Yeah. We're just getting at a situation right now, ongoing. Yeah, man. There's a situation. There's a situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, Russian did an interview with Quest Times, I believe, and you know, was saying certain things about. There was a conversation about gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the clip was posted to Instagram, and you commented on a post on Instagram saying, you know, basically disagreeing with what he was saying in yeah. regards to the internet being the way in which artists boss right now you're saying there's producers several other things that goes into making an artist you know an artist and a brand exactly. someone doesn't want you go into your comment and your thoughts yeah. and further expound on them yeah man so once again thanks for the opportunity to really express my side of it yeah. Um, what I was trying to say is that I have worked with several artists. I work with big artists already, and I work with young artists heavily. We know. Isn't <laughs> me? So um, I understand the work that it takes 
to, to develop the artist just like a footballer to develop a footballer from from young um till he's that top level ready for the world and all of the marketing you have to put into that product all of the um studio time the the, the presentation the image projection mm-hmm. all of them thing they have to bring into that person and 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 until he's ready to to be ready for the world yeah. right until he's ready to sell to the world as yeah. well however i don't believe that it's all social media like when these people go viral who is videoing him usually, usually have a, friend. Re- a friend or a roadie, or a roadie, or a roadie somebody yeah, yeah. that is there who is videoing him so he can go viral they get mm-hmm. me um, a lot of work and I feel like producers, managers, those people that really there with them artists since day one and eventually get cast to a side because, mm. you know, don't get enough you know, credit or they're not valued as much. Yeah. You get me? And that's what I was trying to say. And I was against the fact that, you know, he has such a big platform, right? Yeah. And everything he says, the people him are consume it, consume it, consume mm-hmm. it. And I was against that because what if the artists them start believing that and boosting them ego, say, oh, them don't believe, say, oh, them manager important. They don't believe, say, the producer will give them the rhythm and them bust on the rhythm there. Mm-hmm. Important or had any value to their success. Then you're going to have a thing, what is happening in dance already, where artists feel like they don't need the producers not whatsoever, or they're doing that favor to the producers. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's the other way around. When I, enough times I invest in a young artist and I have no intention of making back any money at all, even if he's not signing to me, because I'm looking at him, say, I'm going to build this artist, I'm going to build his career, and he's going to be someone great. I feel more joy out of him being someone great, other than I say, all right, then we put my money in my pocket. I shoot a bad video for, Val- for Valiant when I'm super hot time and I'm sure I'm a success. Mm. You get me? I'm not changing anybody's life by doing that. Mm. You see me? And I'm more about that. I grew up in a family where my father changed lives on a daily. Yeah. Mm. You get me? And even though I might be in a different field right now, you see me? I want to do the same in music where I can look back and say, yo, I've been a part of critical success. I've been a part of um, T-Bone success. I've been a part of whoever I work with success. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get me? Or artists can benefit from being associated with Dynasty or doing work with Dynasty. Yeah. Right. You get me? Versus all the hype and glitter and gold for myself. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I've already been a star before music. You get me? Like, I've we traveled the world. I've been to Austria. I speak Dutch. I speak German. I've been everywhere. I've met the highest people. I've met celebrities. I've been do it. You get me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing for me to prove in terms of like, I'm not trying to be the flashiest person. I just get my son. I want to grow him. I, I want to be a family man, a good standard for him. Mm-hmm. You get me? You know, people are going to hear you say that now and always point towards mm-hmm. the fact, say, hey, you wanted a football career, so you're saying yeah. a star. You know, All right. Like, I, I, I paused football when I was 21 years old. Mm-hmm. I was nowhere near close to the end of my career. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that was, was mental health. Like, I felt like my mental health was being damaged. Mm-hmm. You get me? And I left Europe with everything that I owned in Europe there. And I went on a flight to Jamaica and I suffered. I had no support whatsoever from, from my father because he didn't support that none at all. Mm. You see me? My mother wasn't fully on it as well, but she loved me, so she met me in her house. Mm. You get me? I bought COVID time was in the middle of that too, so there was oh. no money. So I was like, when I was building Dynasty, I was building it on zero. Mm-hmm. So when a man say, all right, you have nothing but your name, that's exactly what I started out Dynasty. I had nothing but my name. Mm-hmm. And I turned out, I go do private jet reading, critical bus from it. I go do my letter to you reading, I get chosen, I get um, Ray 2, Ray 2, I mm-hmm. get the only song from the reading there. I get my go to the same year, I get Still a Bleed with Chronicler, I get 25 with, with Joshi, I get Ragging King. Um, several fall, many rise. When we just start out to me get ragging King Glue. And we can go on. Mm-hmm. Just off your name. Just off that. Yeah. You get me? Even my letter to you, Redeem, kind of 
to like oh big bong squad <laughs> yeah. yeah. my my letter to you reading really kind of yeah. did that as well for exactly. that year. Just on yeah. a small scale yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it was during covid yeah. time and and at that time it was dynasty readings cuz the same year sure. bleed rhythm drop yeah mm. you get me so it, it's really nothing to prove and yeah i'm not the person that's going to put my name beside a song mm. you get me i'll be like yo i i own this or own i'm not in it for that you get and, me? and you could <laughs> i could I mean, on, well yeah. i could I, the, my, like if you look right now my songs aren't even tied to a spotify i had a meeting with um sony publishing the other day they asking me well why my songs aren't like that you mm-hmm. get me make a fix it now mm. however it's like i told him i wasn't really in it for that because i was like you know it's i don't want to be the highlight or i don't want the artist to feel like yo may i try control them entire thing it, yeah not about that. Where the mentality they're born from, by the way? Um, I always grew up knowing to share. Because, mm. as I said, I grew up in a Phoenix family. And we have a lot of principles that we live by. And we always know for stay humble. We always know for give back to where we come from. You get me? So, mm. it has nothing to do with hype or nothing like that. It's not about that. And even when I get older and pass on and my son grow now, yeah. it's the same thing I'm going to be telling him. Isn't it? I want to circle back to the whole internet gatekeeping, mm-hmm. busting conversation, because when I was brought up, I think it was just, well, Russia was speaking about it. I think it was just to speak on the current power of social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we've seen Wolipa artists you know, boss mm-hmm. of a social media over the years. But sustainability yeah. is a different thing. Yeah. And I feel that's why you was really touching. It's a conversation we've had ad nauseum mm-hmm. about like this power of social media and if social media is the only thing that can sustain an artist. Artists are boss of a TikTok. What's the real impact here? Mm-hmm. So when you draw the parallels with even what your father do, yeah. I understand it clearly because... Yeah. Me see your father as somebody as a nurture of talent, mm-hmm. somebody that sees the whole entire picture, not yeah. just the bargain part of things, yeah. but even like how the branding and the marketing of a superstar, like yeah. even Whisper, exactly. I understand all of it complete. And I think that's really what he was getting at to be fair. Exactly. So I mean, I guess my my thing is is like where you think the confusion lie? Like why is it you think there was such a um, disconnect with the communication? I don't know. I felt like it's also a rush in the mo- heat in the moment as mm. well. You know, like, you know when somebody hot feel is like mm. they're not even thinking twice before they actually try to understand what you're saying. I, I think that's possible. That's a possibility. We think actually you say nonsense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pro- possibly that. Yeah, that too. That too. That yeah. too. Is it me? Mm. Mm-hmm. But when you look on the artists, I'm about spawn TikTok, Valiant, about spawn TikTok with the catchy at yeah. like, mm. See me for example. Valiant was doing music for years before that. Mm-hmm. And you never get the break. Mm-hmm. But you don't get the break until you're fully ready. And if you're not fully ready and you do get the break, you don't last. Mm-hmm. That's true. You get me? So there's a lot of development before you get that. Mm-hmm. And enough people don't believe in faith. Enough people don't believe in God. Bro, God it's choose clear. your moment. <laughs> Is it me? Whether you bust on YouTube or TikTok or wherever, you go out dance tomorrow. It is not up to you. You don't determine when you bust. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the man up above send a moment to you. you know? mm. yeah. Him create that moment for you, for you to take it on. That's a different thing for bust to and maintain. And, and I think maintain. the elements that you brought up Which is, is integral and key. Behind yes. the scenes exactly. that, to that maintain. Create the whole artist. The art. mm-hmm. And I think the thing is, many people think that the artist is just singular. Yeah. But the artist is an extension of several people exactly. behind the scenes who who take the phone calls, who make the deals, yeah. who lies with the brand people, the 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 the, 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 the art, um, the producers, everybody. Yeah. Like it's you know they're front facing. The artist is front facing, but there are several people behind the mechanics behind it. Exactly. So you think that maybe um, many people don't understand that that like the I guess because of the culture of dancehall too, yeah. where you know we see where. 
artists and especially producer to follow yeah. constantly. You know, it's like part of the story of dancehall. Because it's an ego based community mm-hmm. most of the time. And the first word of art, <laughs> yeah. And that is why things most of the time don't work out. However, if there can be an understanding and a respect, as in if each other respect each other, if they res- respect each other, yeah, mm-hmm. is it me? It wouldn't be like that. None at all. Mm-hmm. Is it me? I've witnessed when Molly walked through the auto door for the first time. Mm-hmm. And Molly wasn't the same artist as he is today. That took years of voicing, investment, development. Yeah. Is it me? Mm-hmm. To make him who he is today. Mm-hmm. However, the public does see all of that work that Otto put in with Mali. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look how much sacrifice Otto put in for, for Mali be who he is today. Mm-hmm. Is it me? And at the end of the day, the public does see that. I the think public only see this bad artist today. Yeah. And, and if, yeah, you're some yes man, a few me go rare, rare. You understand? I think it was sort of a, let's say like a anti-gatekeeper thing. Yeah. The, the conversation surrounded that. Yeah. I think the sentiment was say, yo, fuck them gatekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think that's where the mindset was. Yeah. Say, yo, the internet is the way in which you can get your shit moving. Not these DJs, not these, you know, producers and all these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just seem it just seemed like it was just a defense mechanism, if yeah. you will, say yo. And the it, net is the it is because true. we had this conversation a long time ago yeah. about yeah. gatekeepers, yeah. and you know there it was split. Like people are saying, yeah, like you know, I have my song, my good song, but people are not still play it and whatever, though, right? Because even though you might be hot in Jamaica, you, know, you still have another boundary for going, you know, another 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 level for tap into, you know? mm. yeah. and that's where the gatekeeping really is now, mm. mm. because YouTube and Ray only can get you so far. Yeah, I mean it? the algorithm really program it to the country. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're where it only you are. get you so yeah. far, mm-hmm. brother. Isn't I want it? to tell us how people have we as gatekeeper. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. What I was going to get to <laughs> is that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, as I say, I'm not going to put myself in it, but yeah, producers that do the waiting game. They mm-hmm. wait until all the work is put in with this artist mm-hmm. and him hot, and then they go voice him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. When you say no, say it's not no gaping, gatekeeping thing, is yo, it's just YouTube and TikTok or whatever it is, and you're not do, playing any part in developing these artists, in, in helping them from early out for, for really make them go so booms and bust away. Mm-hmm. Come on. Why are you using your platform to really feed that to the public? Mm. Well, actually, when you saw his response to your response, mm-hmm. What was your thought? At first, I, I did laugh still because I was expecting him to, to mm. respond. You get me? You were. <laughs> you get me? Okay. I was expecting him to respond um, because I've seen the whole drama with Briscoe, with mm-hmm. Big Stan, with OM Take Down the Youth song, or there. Uh, one Tally. One Tally. One tally um, yeah. No, him at the crime minister is like him feed. As we speak, as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> is him, him, him feed off of them thing there, you get me? Mm. So I knew that he was going to respond. Um, so it's a thing where it's like, do I battle with this guy or do I um, benefit from this? Like get, like get some controversy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I responded in a way where I truly believe so, yo, it was unnecessary still it means Isn't like it? the story posts them yeah, yeah all of them yeah, things yeah, that yeah. immature and um irrelevant bro man. Irrelevant. I, I mean you're irrelevant. 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 yeah i was i was and 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 my, bi- my wife tell me to if if she did awake she probably would have stopped me from doing all of that <laughs> you see me but i was just in the moment we actually I do operate at that level. I got through all the media thing already you know? yeah you get me so them thing and i really bother me this is just like Simple, simple thing. But most people feel like, yo, it's affecting me. Yeah. It's really not bothering me at all. You should be tired. I think so. Why would I say, come on, come on, come on, baby. No, man, she, no, man. She, she was sleeping when yeah. I was on the yeah, balcony. Yeah. And thing, isn't it? It's not just him too. It's like social media. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's it too. It's like, it, it would be different if it's one-on-one, but 
the social media kind of it seems as if him have social media at this point in time. Yeah, which, he had a success already, man. Yeah. Even I said at one point, so yo, I really respect the idea that him that mm-hmm. him did. Yeah. You see me? Mm-hmm. And I saw me stay. I don't care. I have don't care if I ever meet you before. Mm. I don't care if you ever say shit about me. If you if you work is top tier or rated what he did or whatever, me I go say it. Mm-hmm. You get me? It what was your view of him before all of this? Before um. Cause apparently him say him ear say he he say like me not like him, him yeah, from which but is you nonsense. say him say you say you <laughs> 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 you say <laughs> you say oh a long t- oh he said he that said yeah him say long time ear you don't like yeah. me so see that okay yeah, yeah. But bro that is nonsense oh, Where would okay. I get that from? I don't know as yeah. most people around him have said yo people have a lot to say what me don't say mm. Mm. so you, you never uttered a negative word about never him. talk about this man we never heard you see me? Mm-hmm. Um, the other day with the brisco thing, right? Yeah. Um, it's like the man them want to go up on them knees and re re re. You see me? Mm-hmm. I was with that thing mm-hmm. where where like them a big a producer for go up on her Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see me? I me not agree with that. Artists for keep them dignity mm-hmm. and know say yo your time will come all out. We yeah, demanded yeah. it. <laughs> 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 you see me? <laughs> <laughs> you see me? So. I don't know, me don't know why, why he would have feel like so I don't like him, bro. Mm. And, and uh, uh, in, in fact, he said, yo, I was a fan. Fan of what? I guess guy didn't make the tweet. No, come on, man. I'm not a fan. I was <laughs> respected what he did. I, yeah. like, I rate what he did. He just love. Mm. And that's it. That, so I, just because a man rate what he did, that means you're a fan? Yeah. Okay. Can you say so, Russian sampling with him one generation yeah, hate and it still hate? What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's fan behavior. That's not fan behavior. Mm. Fan behavior is, yo, can I get an autograph, please? Can we, can we do this? Can we do that? That's fan behavior, bro. Mm. And you've never... I've never <laughs> tried <laughs> nothing like that. In rap, every day, people show love and be like, yo, your shit is dope, ray, 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 in hip-hop, mm-hmm. whatever. Any other genre, it is normal, so I don't know why it's like, oh... You're saying that I'm a fan, bro. You look like that hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> where, did, where did you delete the tweet? Which one? The same one where you did a yeah. show love. At least a show love to why, man. It said this post, ha- this post well, has been, been deleted. deleted. <laughs> no, because I'm going to go on my Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not a Twitter guy. Yeah. I'm going to look on Twitter. But my notifications were... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, my phone is, we just delete it. Because yeah. <laughs> I thought that that would have maybe stopped the whole heap of notification. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, I should have known how the media play. As I said, I played into a lot of things easy. Like, I mm. played into a lot of cards mm. easy. Yeah. Like, them little things are soft still. We yeah. talk about the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you regret that too, by the way. You regret even that. Throwing the gauntlet. No. Right, as I said, I regretted how I how behaved mm-hmm. and reacted mm-hmm. about the whole situation. Mm-hmm. You see me? I felt like it was immature and I shouldn't have went about it that way. I probably should have even comment on it. Should I just keep my thoughts to myself? And probably I would have been here doing this interview today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, with the challenge now, it's really... Um, we even want to get into certain things still. Mm-hmm. With the challenge... Um, it's been a thing where I don't make beats, for example. See yep. me? I have composers mm-hmm. that make beats for me and how we normally do business is that I give you a percentage of the masters and you get a percentage of your, of your publishing mm-hmm. and we go both away. I don't buy with him. So that guy that's saying that I, I, I owe him 5,000 US dollars, yeah. he can never produce a contract of me signing that I will pay him 5,000 5, US a, a conversation on WhatsApp, nothing like that. Say, I will pay you 5,000 US dollars for a beat. Or you know a conversation him. on the phone. Yeah. You know or a conversation. <laughs> I, I did one song with him, one, okay. a Jamil song. And mm. I, I know we ain't got there I'm paying 5,000 for, for one rhythm. Mm. Mm. Never. I've never bought a rhythm for, 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 in my life. Mm. Mm. Never. I've always been the one that collaborates, get a pr- the composers composer. them, them credits, get them whatever they deserve. Mm-hmm. I will move forward. Mm-hmm. You see me? Never been that type of guy, isn't it? Which is, I mean, f- 
we've talked to you quite a number yeah. of times and we know yeah. that that's usually that's yeah. we know that's your your play and your role yeah, in dynasty exactly and we're pretty much and i mean is doing this thing we kind of realize the difference between beat makers yeah. versus executive producers uh, and me sign so forth. composers to my thing you know? yeah so composers yeah. me sign holy for people because mm-hmm. me i try to build a label yeah that's what i and i am the owner of the freaking label yeah you get me um i'm not even Say and when people ask me what you do, and I don't even say I'm a producer. I say yo, I own a record label. There you go. Simple as that. Yeah. Is it me? So back to what you did ask now. The challenge. 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 The challenge. I know TJ Tory mm-hmm. from long time, cause when we just start music, um, we used to work together and re re re. For context, who is TJ Tory? TJ Tory knock over the dirty money reading. Okay. Is it me? So I know for a fact that team, but if you look on all the songs descriptions. You're not seeing TJ Tory it's anywhere at all. Mm-hmm. It's only Russian. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Me? So I feel like that's an injustice to him. Because yeah. he did his part. You get me? So he should get him flowers just as much as anybody else a part of the production. Mm-hmm. You get me? But I guess TJ Tory is signing thing where he makes sure he's paid, yeah. but him they need the recognition. Well, I don't know. That yeah. is that is their business. Their business. I you think he me? has publicly mentioned him before mm. and acknowledged him. Right. This is what a, him do. A video is on YouTube forever. Mm. A song is in it's music is there forever. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? When 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 him get old now, him have some picnic and re re re. I'm more show him picnic them what him do. Where is the proof? Mm. <laughs> the whole mm. shit. <laughs> <laughs> the car the fuck. Where, is, where is the proof? You get mm. where you do? You get a five thousand US one time. Um, in 2023. Mm. Mm. You get me? So it it, it matters. It's legacy. Mm. Yeah. That's your legacy that you live off of. At the end of the day, money goes. What you build, what you stand for, that are your legacy. Mm-hmm. What your credits, all of them things that you can, where you can look back and show on. Yeah. Mm. I believe the actual challenge was go up on a live mm-hmm. and, sh- and actually remake the rhythm. Yeah. yeah. What I basically do is prove them of like the files. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. So, so and I mean, and I guess that's what I'm saying. Perception is a hell of a thing yeah. because social media thinks that you lost. Yeah, the but it would <laughs> yeah. be difficult to explain to them. Well, technically, you did. All right. <laughs> when I was doing music, and I was just listening music, and me and hear all of them produce, I thought they were like, you know, them are the wickedest. Yes. Thing. Ray, ray, ray. You get me? Because mm-hmm. I I was in the unknowing how everything mm-hmm. go. You get me? So when you make a beat or you own the masters for a beat bro obviously you don't have the files i have the files on most of my rhythms even for so mix a rhythm and balance a freaking um song mix and master mm-hmm. you need the rhythm stems to mix a freaking song mm-hmm. <laughs> so the challenge was basically is it me i'm mean, gonna go say him don't make beats because it's up to my knowledge you know that he does make beats mm-hmm. is it me that the challenge was that him should go on live Delete that file that him have and find the melody them again. Do the arm drum pattern again and make the beat on live and, and re. Mm. You get me? But if he's but skilled, that's what he does. I'm exactly, sure he, he could have do that in two yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. see me? Mm-hmm. But showing the proof of the file and the data and all of that is, mm. is nonsense. But as I said, I don't even want to go into that or discredit him on legacy. Same mm-hmm. way. You get me? So like I, I even know like a nigga named Brixton on me. Mm-hmm. Read him scene. You know Brixton? Yeah, I hear about him yeah, before. I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's not, I mean, this isn't, and I guess this is why I say like perception and social media is such a tricky thing mm. because, you know, it, you guys are having ideology differences. Like yeah. you guys don't, you guys differ, um, don't agree in the ideology of gatekeeping. Yeah. Yes, overall. Yeah. But social media take it into a whole different things. It's like, how do you win the battle um, against <laughs> people who are committed to just like probably being on his, on the Russian team? You can't win. I, honestly, yeah. I, I accept that. So, yo, yeah. That's a battle. Maybe I just can't win. Yeah. You get me? However, if you have sense, if you have um, any sort of 
understanding or or anything like that. you try to see what I'm saying mm-hmm. you can understand it from my side mm-hmm. is it me same way you can understand it from his side as well mm-hmm. you get me but it does not mean so what I am saying is wrong mm-hmm. and it does not mean that what he's saying is wrong yeah. yeah you get me because he has a point me get yeah. the point he must say yeah, yeah, yeah I do too and me get the point what me I say yeah however it is a thing you know, where social media can be so manipulated mm-hmm. and triggered to art. I'm just gonna pick a side. They choose the hero and the yeah, villain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and truly, yeah. But I've I've been the villain many times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrongfully. You get me? And I'm no, sure he has been no the villain problem. too so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No problem. But I think the thing too is like producing because last year there was a big thing dust up with um, DJ Mac and DJ. And yeah, TJ, but Panda, Panda, Panda. and him something. So I guess it's like, where, how can we really and truly? Is this is just education, but like not everybody is willing to turn. Like not every producer, not every owner of a record label yeah. is willing to say, "Well, I am just the person who, I don't make. I'm not the composer. I'm just like quote unquote the executive producer. I bring all the players together to do it." But not everybody is willing. To share that, yeah. you know. So how how can the public be aware mm-hmm. to know like who the difference between the beat maker, the producer, things like that? Um, I feel like with all of these situations coming up, it is a well talked topic now. So I feel like m- most people are getting to understand it to mm-hmm. some level or extent. Mm-hmm. But I always, you know, it's the idea I always thought of that. Maybe we should teach the business of music from a younger age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get me? Because when I went to school in, in Europe, you know, in Belgium, the school system was completely different. It was geared to... Light flex. Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> Just went to school in Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> it was really geared to whatever you want to be. You yeah. get me? So if you wanted to be a musician, you're going to be in a class with other aspiring musicians learning mm-hmm. about... You know different aspects of music, mm-hmm. sciences, same way, and you know maths and all that thing mm-hmm. the same way. But the core of it is that you want to be a musician. I was in sports because I was involved in KRC Genk Academy, mm-hmm. and we were training twice a day, even though we we're going to school. Um, we we're learning about nutrition. We had um, right, all saying. of them different aspects there. Mm-hmm. So why not bring that as well to Jamaica for so aspiring musicians? You get me. I feel like even parents are nowadays to kind of killing them, them youth to uh, when a, when a youth want to be a producer, a composer or anything like that, it's like they might kill them dream. Yeah. You yeah. get me? It's like they don't believe that it can actually be something out of that. However, the genre as well, the, for what it represents sometimes, I'm yeah. not saying that it's always slack. Mm. However, the older generation do believe that it's negative sometimes. Mm. Yeah. And that's, Honest true. That's my personal experience. That's what, you know, other mothers call me. I have all the pop composers that come to me. Yo, Kyle, should I leave school? I'm going to say no. Oh, they're in, yeah, uni- they're in high school or university? Most of these composers are 16, 17 what? years old. What? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In high school, in university, mm-hmm. just, you know, me and them want to know if they leave school. I'm going to say, yo, don't leave school. Mm-hmm. Continue, just... Put in the work and show your mother so you can make a living from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get me? So, I guess, I I guess, education. Yeah, Yeah. sometimes I think Jamaica is too small. I think that's my problem with, especially the creative arts, because, you know, it's like you have, is that many people feel like is a certain person can make it, you know, and, is that like many people probably have this defeatist attitude. So, well, you don't, you are maybe not that certain person, you know, yeah. like going to the, the, the banking field or the law, in, the law doctor, like we know yeah. we need so many of these, like mm-hmm. why we have enough producers already as small as it be, we have enough producers already. Yeah. But I think maybe it's not the same in as, as you talk about in Europe, yeah. in America, because I know that Europe is, especially like Sweden, is a songwriting capital of the world. Yeah. Like a lot of <laughs> songwriters, pop writers in America, them immigrate or them get them from Sweden, exactly. you know? And I think the culture is different where every person is kind of, Encouraged, encouraged yeah. to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Something. also the national, you know, feeling is yeah. that so this is something that creates great value for the country. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So but, I don't really necessarily think it's 
like that here. Right. You know? oh, and I think too, it's like I want to get to something granular where I think it always feels like he's a club. <laughs> I don't want to say a boys club, yeah, but you know, it's mostly boys. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you're part around that man. So it's like, Exactly. Oh, automatic, you yeah. know, or you know, oh, you have to power on you, forget it. Like, sometimes it's not meritocracy, it's like networking, networking. and friendship, which I argue all the time, but that, that's the way of the world. It's like who you know, and you, people work with people who them know. So, like, that's, how can we change that though? Where that's where the gate, which is really the gatekeeping conversation, yeah. where can it be really based on merit and not necessarily like my friend and combo? I mean, need for power on. Kyle always to get a redeem. Boy, I don't know. Because this whole, yo, my corrupt men are like people mentality that, that these people have nowadays mm. is that they don't really want people that are un, they're unfamiliar with around mm-hmm. them. Yeah. You get me? So to be familiar, you have a friend up, man, and take this one, you know, and this one, unless you have your name and, and you're coming in with certain level of pedigree. Mm-hmm. You know, but... As I say, if maybe the play level, the playing field was different, mm. you see, where everybody was on, you know, the same level, yeah, and everybody, I encourage each other. Maybe the mentality could change, or the culture could change a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you know, because you say you don't have a problem like working from an artist from grown up. Huh? Well, another person will probably wait until the person putting a few more, yeah. you know, hours in them in them work before them can say, ah, oh, like I can yeah. work with you now. I can see the return on the investment clearly. Yeah. So, like, with you, like, how do you pick and choose the person that you work with from the ground up? Talent, just Simple. based on just that. talent, work ethic, personality, and people say call it, oh, I'm a businessman. Mm-hmm. You have short term investment i have long-term investment mm-hmm. you can invest into this guy long term mm-hmm. and make back your money five years from now mm-hmm. and you can invest in him now and make back your money in three months mm-hmm. you see me it's really up to you however the impact that you will have on him if you believe in him from early mm-hmm. will be probably him now ever forget that yeah but he's going to forget that yeah, over time you're gonna forget. Say, yo, you know, somebody do a one tune, or I, you won't have any much substance like that. Mm, what me. to me? I mean, let's talk about it because I'm thinking artists kind of have a way where, again, we talk about them artists and producer on the yeah. follow like yeah. it's a plot. It's almost cliche at this point. So it's like, how do you? Take the risk. I mean, it's always a risk. Whether even if it's a short term or long term investment, it's always a risk. Yeah, it's a risk. Yeah. But even with songs, you don't know which song going to hit. Mm-hmm. True. That's the thing. It's a gamble. Same way. Mm-hmm. So, so make a post. <laughs> you see me? Talk, yeah. It's a gamble. Same way. So you don't know whether you're going to make back your money. No matter how much money you put into something, mm-hmm. you're still not one hundred percent sure if you're going to gain back your money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. However. It's really a relationship with somebody that you're trusting. Mm. You see me? And what happens enough times, you know, is that producers get tested. You see me? So you get you get your chance. You get a big song, right? Yeah. It's up to you you now as a producer, you know, to make that song a world song, you know. And if you don't make that song a world song, you know, the artist's not going to believe in you no more, you know. Yeah, That's what yeah. happens majority of the time, you know. And when you mean world song, what do you mean like... Like promote it, market yeah, it. Yeah, promote it, market it. Like, you know, make this product, you know, put on a gift rope, give mm. something funny, isn't it? But as I say, just a lot of mm-hmm. things to the industry, a lot of things to the game. But if I was to do it for money, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be in this industry. It's not money, it's more than that. Mm. You get me? Russian in taunting you. Made some posts on his on his story, on his Instagram stories. That brought up the history of their father. Now, I don't yeah. really want to visit like the tumultuous, well documented past. Yeah. We want to focus on the healing aspect of it. We did talk to you about it before. Yeah. But we never really, you know, got into, you know, what went into that healing process. So, can you just like give us like a synopsis of what went to that process with you and your father? All right. Families quarrel, fight, 
the only difference that happened with me and my daddy was it, it was just public. Mm-hmm. You see me, everybody fight and and come back together. True. I love my father. My father loved me very much. You get me? And as I said, since me have my son now, I understand him more. I can relate to him more. Mm-hmm. Um, for the beginning of this year, I've been at the hospital because my wife had a complication wow. with the pregnancy. Wow. Mm. Up until a day or two ago, you know. You see me? So I've been at the hospital sleepless kidding? nights and my baby was here with my dad. Wow. You see me? So that to show you the level of trust I have with him and love same way. Is yeah. your wife good? Yeah, she you good, know, man. You know, them she, always say pregnancy is such a scare. Like, yeah, it's yeah, about to it develop. Is, it yeah. is a serious thing, not a yeah. joke thing. Right? Yeah. People just put in the air, yo, may I breathe a girl? <laughs> trust me. When I'm in that delivery room and me see the pain what she has to go through, and then they must stop that for go do um C section and then the epidural for the first C section now works so mm-hmm. they must knock her out mm-hmm. and then even when them go so boom them fail the surgery and she have she have in beer problems after that. Mm. Is it me? So oh. I mean this this thing coming so trivial at this point. Like <laughs> yeah. it, so, yeah. it's like yeah. what are we really doing? Yeah. Yeah. So no man, yeah. me and my father thing were good mm-hmm. and will always be good for life. Mm-hmm. You get me? And that happened years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see me? Let me tell the last time we spoke, it was yeah. really good <laughs> for see you and him, you know, after Mona games. Yeah. You know, it was seen say oh take them to a chat, but I think it was the season before this one where it was you and him, you know, I celebrate the success of this school. Yeah, man, the only fancy. difference to this was that my wife is pregnant and I would have the time for really dead with the team like that 100%. Yeah. You know? However, I still go to the Manning Cup final. I still support him and message him and be like, yo, do this, do that. May I send out videos to agents around the world, same way I help him out in business mm-hmm. and just being a family. I was here for Christmas dinner. Mm-hmm. You see me? Me and my pops good, we'll always be good. Is it me and me and my family good? I mean, I guess was <laughs> he happy being kind of brought up in this whole thing? My dad, yeah, no, nobody yeah. was happy. Cause mm. even, as I said, I got calls from my whole family this morning. Be like, Kai, what is this nonsense on social <laughs> media again? Is it me? I mean, really? I see, I like think that, I tell you, I'm going to post like some ex girl boy or oh, you who are money to and all these things. Yeah. I don't think that. All right. You can get the background on that too. Yeah. So, with the most girls that I've been in a serious relationship with, mm. they live with me, rent free, bill free, food free, and everything is free. I, I provide for them 100%. Mm. So, how can I owe somebody that have never given me a dollar before? You did promise her like we invest in our business as well? I have invest I've helped her with her cooking business. I've helped her with any business venture that she has <laughs> is it me? Yeah, yeah. deliver the food myself, is it me? My and when I was she, leaving, she her uh, no, when I was leaving that relationship, leave. right? Because mm-hmm. And now even go, go so far and style her, is it me? Because mm. I still have respect for her. I realize I've never ever come out and said anything about her to the public. This mm. is not the first time she doing this, you know. Ah. Mm. Is it me? She oh, has done it on Twitter before. Yeah. She has so it's a thing where she had tried to pull me. Mm-hmm. I see. Is okay, you're me? happy and married. Yeah, I'm happy oh, and okay, married. That's not really for Panar. You get yeah, me? She yeah. have her man makes my expect her for move. So I think she I'm, just playing into the social media. Exactly. Yeah. So she see all this, so she are playing to it, is it me? I've made sure that I have gave that girl money for go start total life. And I've even got her a job so she can um be on her feet, so she can sustain in her life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it me? And this is what I get back in return. Is it me? Jumping Just because I post pregnancy picture and, and with my woman now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it me? Them look too good, girl. <laughs> you're too happy. Yeah, yeah. You're too yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. The picture I'm look too photoshopped. Take it from yeah. somebody that yeah. don't like you know. Don't be happy when you leave. Is it me? But yeah. I, I always avoided to go back and forth to that because I know in my heart what I've done for that person. Mm. Is it me? And uh, it's unfair. Yes, but my father always tell me if you know who you are sleeping with at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. It's true, what, bruv? So true. Discriminate to the penis. <laughs> all the time. The message that we preach. What would it take for there to be some 
reconciliation with Russia. Come to say him take down the thing. Them, All right, so. there was a reach out last night, you know. There mm. was. Yeah. Um. And as I said, me know I've never hated a nigga before, mm. or I've never say oh man, I have nothing against him. So you say, I'm, and you say you've never met him, right? I've never, never met, met him, him before. I've mm-hmm. never seen him in person. Mm-hmm. Is it me? So I'm cool. Mm. Is it me? If he wants to go now and dwell in social media again, and I'm not interested into that. I'm focused now on moving forward, working on my record label, working with my dad, taking care of my son, taking care of my wife fostering relations just being a family man that's what i'm focused on which was to you personal through some through a mutual through a, through a family you know he knew my sister from prep school i didn't even oh, wow. know I have an older sister that lives in miami oh okay mm-hmm. is it me so she did reach out to me and they we just say yo we're gonna delete everything is it me mm-hmm. him delete what him post me delete what me post mm-hmm. is it me we move forward the purpose of this interview is not to discredit him legacy at all yeah. mm-hmm. it's to clear out whatever is there and just to explain my side yeah. mm-hmm. who wants to accept my side or what i believe in that's up to them yeah i'm really not looking for validation i'm not looking for none of that i just wanted to put it out there so whoever wants to understand me from my standpoint mm-hmm. that is cool yeah i think you're pretty much done now <laughs> and i think the business need proper like i think that is it i think what's missing in the business is really and truly proper <laughs> business yeah. you know like you know because the people that you name are truly integral in in when you look overseas these are people that are a part of every artist even no one no name unknown yeah. artists yeah once you're signed you're a part you're you're you need these people exactly you know and i guess that's essentially what you're saying it's exactly. like it's not just one yeah, yeah. so the structure of uh, music need for better the education mm-hmm. and just a whole overall mentality mm-hmm. has to be one that needs to be formed in a more, you know? Yeah. So, but that will take time and that will take a lot of work. As yeah. well. However, we are moving in the right direction. We yeah. Have more people getting signed, like what Zimmy did say, enough, people, enough more labels are looking at the genre now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we can move forward. Okay, you said that you had you had a meeting with Sony, so does that mean that Yeah, I've had numerous of meetings with, with labels overseas mm-hmm. about my catalog. So is it that they want to buy or they want they to want, sign a specific artist? They want artist? to do a publishing with me. Okay. You get me, and they want to work with artists that I've worked with before. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm still under contract with, with someone right now. Okay. Um, so I really can't really, mm-hmm. but I'm still working hard. My catalog is still getting mm-hmm. bigger every day. So yeah. I can't take up a deal any day, anytime I really want. When you, when you have these conversations with the overseas labels, like what is the thing that they look for? What are the, what's the sound that they're more attracted to with your, with your catalog? Um, the, honestly, they like, my sound is more of a melodic sound. They mm-hmm. like that, uh, um, bring up kind of r&b sound to it mm. so they do like that my thing is kind of unique and mm. separate in a mm. way so they do come to me like that they come to me for artists that i work with as well mm-hmm. even though it's crazy they came to me for a zerimar song mm. um for real? The scene rhythm and it wasn't the biggest rhythm however the production of that song is what really draw them to it so mm-hmm. they wanted more at that you know so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I have a question in mind. I don't know if I choose somebody just walk in a room. I won't say so. <laughs> but the jobs at the failed football career. When you see that. Yo, it hurts still, you know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I, I did explain as to why I did stop. Yes. You know? Isn't me? I had nothing to do. I had a contract. I was still living in Europe. I've left Jamaica when I was 12 years old. Mm. And I was living in Europe up until 21 years old. Is it me? I could have still be there fighting my battles. Yeah. Is it me? And more why I feel like say, you know what? I just just say oh, set up dynasty on a level where me not have to run it and just go back up play ball, go show them. But <laughs> it's just a lot of energy still. Yeah. You know? I think maybe people, that day will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you still have that in mind. It's like when you say the bargain, I swear it feel like I have unfinished business to do mm. a lot of the time. Sometimes I feel like it's too late mm. Mm. and 
sometimes I do feel like it's still possible. Mm. But when people say like them little thing there is like, you know, I, I've been here from whole long, like really I tried is it? Mm. So fail football career, come on bro. Pop so much encourage, especially with come them on, thing I got bro. Football is where it's at. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> no, they will push you. They will push you. Out of it. Yeah. Well, no, to. man. One day, maybe I, this year I'll get fit and think. Because also, you know, I want my son to play football. Mm. So I have to be an example. And play an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <Sure. laughs> Poor son has to be an overachiever. Yeah. <laughs> No man, I'm going busy, man. Oh, I can't imagine. I'm not going to be playing no video games. Can't, oh my God. <laughs> I am sure you're going to have like five yeah. TV, two Xbox, three PS, whatever is going to be. It will be when, he, when he's old. Yeah, when he might chillax after a hard, work, hard day's work of trading. Oh yeah. my God, you guys are slave <laughs> drivers. Sense, Whisper. You know what I mean? Well, I say congrats to you. It seems like you're part of the super agent crew mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i mean because are you we see a tech picture a new castle and all boat and all these things yeah. look like him well not look like he has finally signed officially for chelsea you know how you feel though mm. oh man it's over the moon i'm super mm. excited for him i sent him a message the day that i saw the on the you know them post him and yeah. mm -hmm. i say yo remember that you're in an environment now where everybody wants to make it Tap into the next level, mm. push yourself, push harder. And I forgive thanks to my dad as well that mm. gave me the opportunity to. You know, it was really my first rodeo as like an agent, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I, was, I learned a lot mm. from <clears throat> both experiences being in Newcastle and Chelsea. And you know, I'm really happy for him. I'm really excited to see where his career go. I always say that he have the potential for the, the greatest. Um, Jamaican footballer um, and that can only be better the next player we develop as well and boss should be better than Whisper mm -hmm. isn't it? so True. we should always the legacy yeah, growing exactly. Exactly. Pops are promote the next one isn't it? <laughs> yes, isn't it? <laughs> the is the next great you know? yeah. <laughs> we've seen at least me personally watching ball game over the years I've seen a lot of wonder kid you know ball at war people prep up as, oh, he's going to be the next superstar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I guess this is one of the first times we've seen something like that with a Jamaican baller to this extent. Sometimes with them is like the pressure yeah. of expectations get to them. Have you had these sort of conversations with Whisper? Do you have this type, type of words and say, oh, the, the weight of expectations are going we him though. No man, the difference with our players and any other player is that they thrive off pressure. Mm. Is him in the rise to the occasion. They don't give up, they don't back down and they perform even better. The worst thing you can tell Whisper is saying not good enough or mm. him can't do something. And that's when he like really get out the beast. And it's the same for all the players. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where you would see like a wonder kid you know, eventually fade away or they get into bad habits and none of them things there. As I said, we improve on the gene every time. Yeah. And we learn from mistakes that I have made mm -hmm. and other, because we have other professional footballers as well. And we teach it to the, we give back, we give information back to the younger professionals mm -hmm. growing up. And they will do the same. They will make mistakes as well. Yeah. And they, they will teach the next generation. And we just... And you talk about mental health, so I'm sure that was one of the things to like your, your fe the Phoenix Academy is that is that a focus of theirs? No, oh, man, you have to build four tough. Yeah. So, so. Four tough. <laughs> <laughs> four tough. Yeah. Isn't it? You have to be rock hard. So, mm -hmm. um, football comes with a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. a lot of expectations, mm -hmm. and a lot of people, you know, criticizing you daily. Mm -hmm. So, you have to be mentally tough to deal with all of that. Yeah, because sure. I mean, Leon mm -hmm. said it when yeah. he had to represent Jamaica, he was under that scrutiny. Yeah. Name yeah, lash out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe say it and me end up get one bag of backlash. What's new? Yeah. What's we'll new? Alice, we we'll touched on it the last time we did talk about, yeah. you know, the criticism he has been received. It seems like it has grown since then. Since then, so much so that, you know, he's been defending himself mm -hmm. in the media. What do you make of all of that? Um, 
I feel like Leon is a leader for the team still. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day, him is one of the pioneers that started this whole team that you now like Michael Antonio them coming down, Bobby Reed, all of them. Leon was one of the first people so yo, The revolution go, and yeah, the reggae boys. Yeah, so. we're gonna mm. we're gonna build Jamaica. And the performances lately, you can't talk to him man. You can't really say you can't really say him the right. That's that's a fair stand villa, isn't yeah. it? And it going and if you really look on the stats like why must say those three games <laughs> so with, the, mm. with the national with him playing i think people are zeroing him on his performances and just like them see what why am i dealing mm. with, with villa yeah. and i think um, the majority of reggae boys fans just want to see that translated to the national yeah, and it will that's, it a, that's right no, but, but the I, question is is like it's not one man make up a football team no no it's no. a whole team that's why I get kind of angry. It's not one man. Why do they always put pressure on one it's person? Not, but Ari, again, is the weight of expectations. Yeah. He is the superstar ball of the side, on the side. So, then And he's been that for come. years. Yeah. It's been that for years. I don't want Swanny make up the team. I'm <laughs> saying, say, oh, Leon, are you now nah, make a win? Nah, nah. I think people just say, say, Leon, we just want... Oh, you play for Villa? <laughs> you play for Reggae Boys. That's we have proper pitch. <laughs> so we got proper hey, pitch. Nothing <laughs> for that. <laughs> Only for things we can't say. Well, I, I just think it, the, the criticism stem from that. Some of it I go overboard, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like people just want to see the Aston Villa farm there. Yeah. Jamaica. And it will happen, man. And when them go to World Cup, I guarantee you, wow. I'll see the best time. When? Them have to go to World Cup. There's no way. We just way. won the holiday. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way you're not going to World Cup. I just saw the holiday. We are going to World Cup. You know, more. I was like, shall I say your side? Um, I said, how you feel? You see you want to play, I'm going to play against your side. Or whatever, how you feel you want play against your side? good. He's like, go whisper, but not Whisper my support, man, right? After. Anywhere I'm there across the world. Whisper, Leon, Phoenix. Wow, so you can play against my new for you. Yeah, I'm going to be like, I could care less. I whisper score, but I want my new win. Pressure. I whisper about good game. Okay. It seemed like with Leon. More Leon yeah. have a good game, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But more I'm anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Gosh. So, speaking of things like moving forward, what yeah. else is in the pipeline for, for Dynasty? Dynasty. Yeah, promoting. Um, really, yeah, man. You know, so, project. this year is all about structure mm. um, and, you know, tapping into the next level. So, really, I am working on, as I say, I signed a couple of people to the label already. Beat makers, um, beat say. makers, okay. DJs, okay. management, road management, road promotion, all of them things. Mm-hmm. So it's really to get that synergy, synergy within our organization, and also we're working on projects musically. Um, we have plans for you know doing philanthropy work, oh, like nice. giving back. Um, we have all the plans, events, all of them things. So we have a calendar already, mm-hmm. and it's really just to execute the calendar and work but the next thing we want to put out is something what is funny that uh, i had the name from last year named last laugh yeah because i do a juggling every year yes you do and that we name know. by the way is ironic right? yeah <laughs> so me i do a producer album this year mm. and me i gonna do a juggling oh okay you see me? and it's a couple singles as well you know i always have only a song for job and when you see the, the success of Big Bunks, you know, I mean, you're sure there's like of course. something. Like I, I experience what a juggling can do for you. Know? Yeah. You see me? Many, uh, so uh, not every one of them is going to be mega huge, but mm. it's good for the culture. Facts. It's good for the artist development. It's True. good for see new artists as well. Mm-hmm. You see me? So I always do one at least per year. Mm-hmm. And we we'll move forward and we'll just tap into the next year. We can well. attest to that. Yeah. We can attest to that. <laughs> Even with the current yeah, yeah, money rhythm, we see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. See the chaos that I created. Man. <laughs> Give thanks for talking to us, but we really appreciate it. And we appreciate, it. we appreciate that you're able to get out your side of things as well. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. as we say, it's like a feeding frenzy on social media right now. And it good, it's good that you could properly explain your side of things and your perspective yeah. mm-hmm. on, on what really started this whole thing. 
Yeah. yeah. First verse. And the brown and brown, light skin and light skin. Try. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to end. <laughs> it's not a good look. Bro. You know what I mean, it needs to end. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so respect for all of that, bro. Yeah, respect again for the opportunity as well. You see me? And keep the link. Of course. Of course, you know what I mean? <laughs> People are weed that, you know, Kyle Butler, fixing a weed that. If that's. <laughs>